Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. Unstoppables Part 2 will be live here in a minute. And you guys see the jersey. You know it's a big day. Jaden Daniels' time in Madden Ultimate Team. Before we take a look at anything brand new, we do have some Season 3 XP news. What I'm talking about here is the XP boosted dailies. You guys can see right here all the way to the right where your daily challenges typically are. They are now boosted, clicking down each and every single time you do something for your daily challenges you're gonna get xp rewarded and the rewards look pretty nice it's looking like ea actually wants you to finish off your season 3 field pass which i cannot say was the case for season 2 those of you who missed your daily challenges throughout the season 3 cycle come on here and get these done you also have the ability to purchase season levels i don't think you need to do that anymore to be honest because of these XP boosted dailies. On top of that, we do have these week five objectives, which give you about 106,000 XP. All in all, you guys should be able to finish off your season three field pass fairly easy. All right, moving on to Jaden freaking Daniels, fellas. This is going to be QB1. This card is also going to sell for so many freaking coins. You guys see the jersey. You know we have to pick him up. Taking a look at his stats right now. 91 speed and 92 throw power. Amazing accuracy. He's great throw on the run. This is the best quarterback in the game. I don't see an argument for anyone else. Randall Cunningham might have a slight argument to be a little bit better based on ability buckets but Daniel's stats are just so much better taking a look now at the unstoppable glowing x factors set feet lead for three ap this is the best x factor to run on your quarterback and he gets it for one ap cheaper than any other option also does get gunslinger as well as backyard qb now these cards did just go live but let's see if any Jaden daniels are currently up on the block and no we will take a look at his price tonight and i will more than likely have him on the squad later today. Now, the other LTD we got is Trey Hendrickson. It's obviously not going to be as good as the best quarterback in the game, but still not a bad card in himself. 87 speed, 94 Excel is top tier. Excel matters more than you think this year. It's one of those stats that like, yes, it's next to speed. So people don't always think about it, but Excel is very important. He also is six foot four and has both power and finesse move fairly high. 93 finesse move is gross, but 88 power move is typically not something EA gives to speed rushers. So I'm glad to see it. He also does have 88 block shed, six foot four, 270 pounds. I'm going to assume he can't play man or zone coverage. And I would assume, right? Taking a look though at the glow x factors he has the unstoppable force this could be interesting he also does have unstoppable fear monger as well as unstoppable no outsider i'm pretty sure this is just unstoppable force but they changed the name to go the unstoppable force because it's the unstoppable promo look at ea man so inspirational and if you thought it couldn't get any better i mean the champion cards are top freaking tier sauce gardener is he the best defensive back in the game? There is definitely an argument there. Top tier speed at 92, 92 man, and 91 zone coverage. Oh, and he's six foot three in a high ball meta. I mean, come on, guys. This card is legit. Moving on down to his glowing X Factors, pick artist, universal coverage. Both of those are top tier, and of course, he gets both of them. Next up, Jettas. This drop has some of the biggest names in the game, and they're all coming in one Thursday drop. It just makes no sense. I'm here for it, though. Justin Jefferson, 92 speed, 90 short, 91 medium, and 90 deep route running. Six foot one, 195 pounds. Now, if you guys have played with a Justin Jefferson card before an Ultimate Team, you know he just plays better than his stats look. And while his stats look absolutely insane, so expect this card to be the best wide receiver in the game, Unstoppable Double Me as well as Unstoppable Route Tech, both of those are going to be really good. I'm kind of curious to see what these champions are going to be selling for. Currently up for about 600,000 coins, we'll call it. I think that is a fair price for all of them to be selling for today. I think Jettas, I think Sauce Gardner, and Derrick Henry are all going to sell for a little bit more than Jeffrey Simmons. But let's take a look at Derrick Henry's stats because this card is interesting. Now, now, 92 speed, obviously top tier speed. I mean, we're looking at some of the best cards in the game here, but 87 Excel. And like I said earlier in the video, Excel actually matters this year. So how good is Derrick Henry going to be? I think he's going to be great. I don't know if he's going to be the best running back in the game. Again, we could just be overthinking this. It's Derrick Henry with 92 speed, 93 break tackle, 91 trucking, six foot three, 247 pounds. 
but 87 excel, 62 catching, 82 agility. There is no side-to-side -side movement in Derrick Henry. He's falling forward every single time for an extra four yards. He's got unstoppable freight train as well as unstoppable grab and smash. And I wonder if he has tanked down here. I didn't see it earlier in the week when we saw the leaks from Mutt Leaks and it doesn't look like he gets it. That's brutal. Still though, going to be a top tier card in this game. The last champion we got today, Jeffrey Simmons, a card that I'm actually more excited about than most people because of that 93 Excel. 80 speed, but 93 Excel, 93 strength, 91 block shed, 91 power move, and 89 finesse move. Six foot four, 305 pounds, does have that threshold of over 300 pounds I look for on a defensive tackle. Unstoppable, double or nothing, as well as relentless. And does he get inside stuff? Need 91 block shed. He gets inside stuff. So only two Simmons currently up right now. Like I said earlier, I do expect him to be the cheapest. Do not pay this for Jeffrey Simmons. We did get more solo challenges, so make sure you guys come in here today and get each of these done. You're going to want to get these done so you can get that last unstoppable energy token to upgrade Marshawn Lattimore or Calvin Ridley. We talked about it last week when Unstoppable Part 1 dropped, but I do think Marshawn Lattimore is the correct play when it comes to which of the two welcome item players you get to max out. You only get to max out one to a full 91. A 91 speed DB is a little bit more valuable to me, and I'm going to guess he's a commander, than a 91 speed wide receiver. I don't think we saw anything new with the house rules. It's still here. I wasn't a fan of the house rules when it dropped. I got the 10 wins and I haven't touched it. I just wanted that energy token, but after that, I don't really care for a hero that is is B and D or an 83 plus overall unstoppable player. 10 wins took me way too much time. Get your 10 wins. Don't touch this mode again. Sets over here look very standard. Nothing new here except the four new champions to actually build one of these champions. Same thing as last week. 388 overall unstoppables and then any 88 to 89 overall player. And last but not least, and honestly, the best part about any content drop, if you're talking to EA, that is the store. Now I saw on Twitter, there isn't an opportunity pack. So there is an opportunity pack, but there isn't a $20 one. There is a 50 out of the unstoppable champ opportunity bundle. This contains 188 or 91 or limited time while available three times your choice of two of three 85 plus overall unstoppable players and then your choice of 183 or energy token the odds on these packs i mean you got a 50 percent chance of pulling the champion and then you got a 53 percent chance of pulling 88 pluses May the odds be in your favor and go rip open a Jaden Daniels for me, please. We also do have the Unstoppable Platinum Pack. This contains your choice of three of four 80 plus overall platinum players, then two times your choice of two of three 83 plus overall unstoppable players, and then one of two 88 plus overall unstoppable players. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. The odds here, you got a 30% chance of pulling the champion, but you are getting the platinum players as well as the lower overalls. And you know, two 88 pluses, you got you only get to pick one, but there is chance there to pull a 91. EA fumbled the bag when it came to the offers today. I'm just gonna say it. Here is my B and D one coin pack. Let's see what we can get. The animation is still filthy clean. Roy Lopez, we are going to quick sell you because uh we got no need. And it looks like we have new coin packs. I don't think we had 105,000 coin coin packs last week, but here we go. Let's rip open one of these unstoppable elite packs. These are really expensive. Kicking us off with Reggie Gillum. There is that unstoppable animation. Let's see what we got right here. 88 overall Dalvin Tomlinson. Honestly, not too bad of a pull whatsoever. I'm pretty sure that's profit. We got Kamari Lassiter. And then the last pack on the far right, we got Marvin Mims. I think we profited off that pack, to be 100% honest with you guys, taking a look at Dalvin Tomlinson, and I guess the 88 overall hero price, you know what? We're up. And fellas, that is everything we got this afternoon with Unstoppable Part 2, aka the Jaden Daniels drop. Let me know down below, are you picking up any of these champions? Honestly, guys, you should pick up each and every single one of them because they are top tier cards in this game. I will catch you boys back here tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time, talking about updates on every glitch, issue, or thing that EA has just generally screwed up on. But until then, I love you guys. Peace. Have a good one.